sovereignty is not just about the production. It's also having the space to have a means of communicating with one another, to form a position of power and um, like a civic position of power from which to make these discussions and choices about how the food we want to eat also produces the landscapes that we want to live in as part of this much bigger world. At Alaska, our vision is to democratize access to fresh and nutritious food by democratizing the means and the knowledge of production. And uh, we do this by using technology because the only way to really democratize knowledge is to have something that's that's scalable, that's low cost or low friction, and that it can be adopted by anybody. Uh, my, my view is that if we can use that technology that's being developed, then ensure that the, the anthropological food types or the heritage food types are also still relevant for our population and our culture, then we should actually pursue that uh, as much as possible going forward. Personally, I just feel that there is a need uh, for Singaporeans to really experience the process of food production. I would urge uh, the young to take up gardening so that you can grow your own food, uh, experience the process so that um, you understand how food is produced, how difficult it can be, and don't take food for granted. It's not just young people that the burden of this falls on, right? I think like anyone who is like interested in food issues, which is everyone because everyone eats food, right? Everyone should be interested in having a stake in our food system, especially in Singapore when we already have so little people, right? I think we need all hands on deck. Mm -hmm.